Hi again. I'm working on a scene here for uh, some 3D work I'm doing. Um, basically, the, there's a really annoying thing in 3D Studio Max, and it should be easier, okay? So it's basically when your ca camera is falling apart, something we do a lot, you know, when you want to animate, especially visualization work. So I'll show you the path is here. So the path is just a line, like, like so, and the camera goes on the path, yeah? And I'm just going to play it here, and you can see it moves in slowly and speeds up, you know, like in real life, yeah? We don't really, we, we never start at the same velocity as we continue with. And then again, it slows nicely here. I'll just click on the camera there and bring up the curves. And as you can see, the curves has a nice smooth trans transition, okay? So that, there you go. I'll just play it in the, the animation viewport as well. So it's camera four. Go to camera four and play here. So it goes nice and smooth and it finishes as smooth. So I'm going to go to the top view. But when you do this, it doesn't, or it should be as simple to do, but it's not. I'll show you. So let's get this camera here and let's assign it to this path here. So I'm going to click on the camera, go to the motion and go to position assign controller and go to path constraints, which is here. And then add path, which is here. Okay. So now we've got the animation and I'll just play it in the top viewport. And as you can see, it's, it starts off at the same velocity and it continues with the same velocity. Yeah? Just bring down the key, the end keyframe like so. Bam! So it, you know, it doesn't slow down, which doesn't give a nice smooth transition. Let's try and get that in the camera viewport. Not very good view, but let's have a go. So, and then it's going to go, bam. Yep. So you would think logically it would be easy. You could either adjust the controllers here, which is you can't seem to do. And then you go to curves, so we can try and curve. So let's click this and go to curves. And as you see, oh, the curves are not curved like the other one. It's not going to have a nice transition. So we try and click these and oh, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. This is really annoying, isn't it? Um, there's a simple way to do it. You go to position, all right? And go to percent and right click, assign controller and go to Bezier float, yeah? Click and now you've got the option to adjust the smoothing values and it's done it for you automatically. So let's go back to the camera and the scene is such a mess. I think it's this camera, isn't it? Or is that the original camera? Let's have a look. No, that's the original camera. So it must be camera six. So let's have a look at it now. There you go. There's a smoother transition. So if you're really struggling with the path constraint, it can be really annoying and you want smooth transitions. So remember, just go to get your camera, assign path, position, path position. There you go. Bah, bah, bah. Click there. That would help. And then basically add path. And it's done for you because I'm doing it again. And then go to percent and right click and go to assign controller and make sure it's on Bezier float. And that way we can adjust the smoothness values of the camera on the path. I hope that helps. So if you want to subscribe to this YouTube channel, I've got loads more free stuff and check out my website, jamesableart.com for more tutorials and my own artwork. You know, it shows you what I do as an artist and designer. Right, that's it. Hope to speak to you later. Please add any comments, questions below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, cheers. Thanks very much. Bye for now.